Greetings viewers and welcome to today's info sharing session. We'll be covering how to batch process sales order invoices. Now very often you may have instances where customers place sales orders with you at regular intervals and the intention being that those sales orders will be confirmed and the goods delivered at a later stage. In those type of scenarios you are able to within Sage 200 Revolution process those sales orders in a batch format and update all the transactions simultaneously. Let's see how the, how, how the process unfolds. Firstly, I'm going to go through to my order entry module, transactions, sales orders. And I'm going to be processing a sales order for a customer And the number of sales orders we process for the customer during the month. And specify the item that's going to be ordered by the customer. And place the order. Okay, we process a second order. And we'll then finally process the fourth order for the month. Well, so at this point, during the month, the customers placed four sales orders with us. And now we'd need to go and confirm those orders, but be able to update the sales orders, the four that we processed, simultaneously. I'm going to just exit the sales order and revert back to the sales order screen. And now we're going to confirm and update those sales orders and convert them into invoices simultaneously by using the batch process. So I'm going to go to open and firstly locate those orders on the customer name. So I'm going to say find and we then have our four sales orders. We have our four sales order numbers and I'm just going to go and highlight all the orders and select them all. And you'll notice we have a batch process option available. So I'm going to use that option. You'll notice that the sales orders are currently set to state of unprocessed. So click on batch process. And we then have our four sales orders there. I'm just going to validate the batch. Validation has been successful. And now I can simply say post the batch and update. The batch has been processed, processed and you'll notice that it tells us how many documents have been updated on that particular batch. And I'm now going to close the screen and see if we go and inquire on the customer's account, let's just go through to customers 
and I'm just going to inquire on the customer's account. And there we have it. We have our four invoices which were converted from the sales orders. And if I just right click, I can go drill down, go to the source of the transaction. And there we have our transaction where we've converted the sales order into sales order invoice. We've converted those four orders simultaneously by using the batch process. So as you can see, a very useful way in order for you to convert sales orders into sales order invoices simultaneously. That concludes the presentation for today. Thank you for watching. It's over and out from me and goodbye.